Make sure to use code UNICORN whenever you're buying Robux or Premium. Bear Bird kind of fainted, so <laughs> leave a like and subscribe if you if you want to bring Bear Bear back to life. <laughs> hey, y'all, and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back, everybody. I hope you're having a good Monday because we're doing another Hack Monday. Woo! Also, by the way, I have not quit Hack Monday. I have gotten a lot of comments like, where's Hack Monday? I've just been titling them random things. So just come back every Monday if you guys like Hack Monday. But you should watch every video I post because you love me and I love you. Enough of that weirdness. Let's get into the hacks. Today, we're going to be doing some food hacks because you know what's the best thing in the world? Food. I love food. And you guys, we have a lot of good ones. So we have a lot over here from Bella Pointy Nose. Um, we have mashed potatoes. Oh, it's gorgeous. Love it. Anyways, and then we all this also. <laughs> I can't talk. We also have this a Japanese food thing. I love how she said Japanese food thing. Loki, I really don't know what it is either. Um, but it do be looking scrumptiously delicious. What's that thing? Scrumptiously delicious. <laughs> I can't talk. I don't know. Anyways, and we also have this one. Um, which is the emoji. I know what that thing's called, but I forgot. You know, educate me. Tell me down in the comments below what these two things are, because I would love to know. But these look really simple to do, so I mean, I don't really need to do them to show you guys, but it's basically like a rod, and then put some cylinders on top of it. Um, so simple to do, and these are just like on the floor. Um, but I want to do this one. Well, I want to try. Well, I don't really want to try. It looks hard, but it's a chocolate bar. I think it's just a cube and then some, ro not rods, the structural items and then a bunch of more structural items to look like the wrapper coming off. It kind of be looking, it kind of be looking delicious if I say so myself. So let's go make it. Also comment down below. What is your favorite type of uh, chocolate? We also have a lot of hacks here. Maybe I should clean up just a little bit. There we go. I don't want to delete my beautiful Scooby-Doo here. We're not we're not deleting him, okay? So we're gonna go into basic shapes, get ourselves a cube, and we're gonna scale it down here. Okay, so this is gonna be the chocolate part, which I need to actually rotate. And then I think if we just get another one right here and then shrink it like yay. Yeah, if we shrink it like that, that could be like the red part of the chocolate bar. So then let's go ahead and color it up. Let's make that one red and then let's make this uh, brown like chocolate. <gasps> yes! chocolate does anybody remember that spongebob show i mean episode that episode of chocolate i love that episode anyways let's go to structural items now and then get some of these it's gonna be the most annoying part i feel like oh yeah oh no i hate it already i feel like these are just a little thick not gonna lie i mean we could probably use some string instead you know what actually i'm gonna i'm gonna change the design a little bit and i'm gonna use some rope oh i think they didn't use a string because it like goes inside and then i also made mine too small so everything's just too short and i can't put it okay i messed mine up but you know what even without this it sort of looks like a chocolate bar not really you know what it looks like i can't really say it on camera but it looks like something you know, I love how I failed such a simple hack. Okay, that one's just a really fat chocolate bar. I just need to make it bigger. And then they also made an egg, which is super cute. Loading in. Come on, load. Okay, fine. Don't load. I think it's just a carpet with like another carpet on top. So, I mean, we can try it out because we can resize the circle one, right? I think we can. So then we get another one resize it there we go and then we just want to make it yellow and then put it on top okay wait no why is this not working ah oh okay at a certain angle we can see it there okay <laughs> it's it's an egg with a broken yolk there we go. And oh my gosh, y'all, we have so many cakes that y'all sent. Um, I'm just gonna try to make one, but we're gonna look at them first. So this one over here is such a cute cake. We have different textures on each one. There's also like chocolate dipped uh, strawberries on it. Super cute. I love all the tears. And then we also have this one over here. We have a salted caramel cheesecake. Perfection, guys. <gasps> I love myself some cheesecake. I love myself some caramel. Yes, oh my God, it's so pretty. So it's just a bunch of uh, placement mats, I'm pretty sure and then salt and pepper shakers with um, some structural items to look like the, the caramel drizzle, I'm pretty sure. Delicious. Get in my little tum-tum if I should say so myself. Okay, this isn't one of the cakes, but I just clicked it, so we're gonna look at it. This is McDonald's, and it's just really funny because, guys, those buns be thick, okay? Those are some thick buns. Very thick buns indeed, but, you know, if you eat this, you might get a lot of 
bread, but it might be a really good McDonald's. But I think it's just some um, circles going up and yeah, pretty self-explanatory there. But yeah, you can make burgers, cool stuff like that. And oh my gosh, these cakes are probably by far the coolest ones. There is a tutorial on YouTube from London Dior. So go check it out if you want to go make these because they kind of look a little difficult to make. Um, I don't know how she made that clear. Very cool. And I think they're just placement mats and then salt and pepper shakers with some soap on the top. Um, and yeah, there's a muffin in these, which are so cute. I wish I could see the chocolate one, but um, I'm pretty sure they're just placement mats, not gonna lie. I mean, it doesn't look too difficult, just very time consuming. And you guys know, I'm lazy. But what's next up on the list? More cakes. Yes, we have this a wedding cake. Again, just the tears. But this time they added some flowers on the cake tears, I'm pretty sure. Um, and it, you can probably like make a little swirl. You know what I mean? Like a little swirl around the cake with flowers. Super cute. If anybody has a wedding and they have a wedding cake in Bloxburg, invite me over. But I think those are all of the cakes. But we also have some McDonald's fries over here. And these are super cute. These are um, some spread jars. We got Nutella, fluff, strawberry, jam. Not strawberry. <laughs> the blueberry jam and some peanut butter super cute i think they're just made by cylinders you know what we're gonna try to make one of these because i i want to try to make one um let's go ahead and delete our ugly chocolate bar <laughs> real quick and uh let's go to build go to basic shapes get ourselves a cylinder um that's a fat that's a fat cylinder and what we're gonna do is make this a little smaller right here we're gonna actually make this thin because this is gonna be um the red part okay and then we're gonna take another one and then make this one a little thicker so this can be like the jar part okay i think this should work now so if i do that brown make this one red yes now we have some gif or gif no it's gif yeah that does not look like peanut butter, but it's fine. <laughs> and then we just take a photo here and just put it on. Can I resize this? Yes, I can. I was like, why is it so big? And then we just move it a little bit down. And there you go. I can just change it into a GIF logo and you have some peanut butter. If you like peanut butter, let me know down in the comments below. A random question, but you know, everyone likes peanut butter, right? Except for the people who have peanut allergies. If you are one, let me know. Uh, but then we also have these where you can make uh, cereal boxes. I was like, what are they called? Cereal boxes. You just get a rectangle. I mean, square, whatever. Change the size. Change the size of the frame. And boom, you can have some Fruit Loops. I would also recommend not having the frame, just having the poster. Um, and I think that would look a lot better. But uh, yeah, you can make some cool... Um, cereal boxes. Why do I keep forgetting the name of cereal boxes? And then we also have an exploding turkey. Great for Thanksgiving. And then we also have this, which is just disgusting. I feel like this is more gross. I think this looks like puke, not gonna lie. But this is from Cuddles and how to make it look like someone used the bathroom. It looks like someone puked in the bathroom because it's like actual food in the bathroom, like in the toilet. We have done this hack before, but not with food. We, use, we used um, things to make it look like poop. But this, guys, this looks disgusting, okay? Make garden salad, then go into build mode. Get a flat uh, room. Go to the basement. Okay, they, I think they use the um, floating trick. And I, I, it just looks gross. It looks so gross. And last but not least, I actually want to try to make um, the cakes. So let's go ahead and go into cylinders here. I'm just going to make one on the floor because we are unsanitary here. We're going to make a five-layered cake. Um, and then what we want to do is go to the small grid. And we're going to make the the bottom one first. And then just slightly make it bigger over time. I mean, smaller. And then we're also going to make it like thicker. This is really hard, actually. I just, um, because of the sizing, like, I don't know if it's, like, too small, too big. Who knows? Okay, I think that should work. Guys, it's gonna work. Did I, did I calculate them correctly? <gasps> I sort of calculated them correctly. I mean, they're not evenly placed, but, I mean, there we go. We have a layered cake. So, it's super easy to do, um, but, again, you can decorate it your way. You can add some flowers to it. You can do whatever you want with it. Um, like, just add some flowers into the sides. Kind of looks bad with those flowers, but... Um, you know, just... Oh, wait, that does not look too shabby, actually. Okay, and then let's make it pink. I have watched a lot of Cake Boss in my time, okay? So, um, I'm not too new to this. Okay, and then do that. Okay, okay, and then if I change this to, like, pink and white here... Oh, my gosh, you guys, we have a cute little cake. Yes, the sizing isn't the best. It's kind of a thick cake, but I kind of like it. So, there we have it. You can make some cakes. You can make burgers, french fries, an egg carpet, um, any of these uh, thingies here 
mine is kind of ugly, but it's fine. Let's go get some GIF. Have it. GIF logo? Okay, well, I'm sad. GIF peanut butter. I just want the plain GIF logo. Why is it so hard to find? There's a bunch of cereal and stuff, but they don't have that. Are you kidding me? Okay, fine. I'll just... <laughs> That looks so redundant, but you know what? It's fine. We have peanut butter. Huzzah. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like down below, subscribe if you're new, and turn that notification bell on so you guys never miss a video. But if you guys do any food hacks that you saw today or any of your own, let me know on Discord or Twitter. Tag me. I would love to see your hacks. I hope you guys are having an amazing Monday. Have a good week, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. Bye-bye.